Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Adrian from Blessings for the Bards. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a closer look into my RCA 2.1 portable washer. Um, a lot of you guys have been really loving seeing reviews about these uh, portable washers and dryers. So recently on my channel, I did a review of the Panda 3.5 dryer. But today I'm going to do a review on the RCA 2.1 portable washer. And I'm going to show you a closer look. And I'm also going to show you uh, me washing a queen size quilt in the portable washer. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're looking to invest in a portable washer, I suggest you go ahead and do it. And if you invest, I suggest you invest in the RCA 3.0. Uh, I'm sorry, RCA 2.1 portable washer because it works amazing. Um, so let's jump right in so I can show you guys everything there is to know about this portable washer. And also too, if you look back in my later videos, I'll try to link it in the cards above. But I also have... Um, I also shared how to change the drain hose on the portable washer as well. So if you get this washer and you don't want to have to move it back and forth, then you can look at that video of how I changed the drain hose. I'm no expert, but I changed it and it works perfect. I changed mine and my sister's in-laws and they both work perfect. So um, now I just have it sitting in one spot. I don't have to move it back and forth. I just switched the, big, the drain hose it came with to a longer one. And I also purchased some separate longer hoses to connect to the sink so all of that I'll be showing you guys in this video so I hope you enjoy okay guys so this is the portable washer it's the RCA 2.1 portable washer it's actually pretty big um, this is how it looks side by side um, against the portable dryer so it's a pretty big washer as of right now I have the hoses that I use for the washer just sitting inside that's usually what I do after I'm done using it is I just stuff all of the hoses back inside uh, when you do go to stuff the hoses back inside the washer be careful because just like with a regular water hose uh, there's always a little bit of excess water in the hose so if you tilt it the wrong way the water might fall all over the floor uh, so I just nicely place it in the washer and then any water that's in the hose it might fall into the washer and then I leave the washer lid open so it can like air dry but yeah I have um this one right here is actually the drain hose these two black ones right here are actually uh the hose that you connect to your sink um the washer does come with hose hoses and it also comes with the adapter that you use to connect it to the sink i actually purchased two adapters a second adapter because i wanted to be able to switch between the hot and the cold one and i also didn't um and i also purchased a second hose so that i'll be able to uh not have to unscrew the cold water hose and connect it to the hot water all the time so that i could just easily you know switch between it and i also use my label maker to label the cold water and to also label the hot water which is right there yeah, so that's um, the inside of the washer. As you can see, the inside of the portable washer is very, very big. It's a RCA 2.1. Today, I'm going to be washing with the uh, cold water hose. I use the cold water hose majority of the time, so I'm going to show you how I connect it to the sink. So I just basically take the hose out of the washer, and I just stretch it over here to my sink. One second. So yeah, I just stretch it over here to my sink. And this little piece right here, it pushes down. And I just push it down. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. And there we go. And it goes up like that. Now, one thing I did want to point out is that inside of the adapter, there's going to be a little plastic, uh, black circle thing. Don't remove the black thing from inside of it because when I first got it, I just took out the black circle things and uh, connected everything together and water was spraying everywhere. So the little black uh, rubber that comes inside of the hose, it needs to stay there so that your um, portable washer doesn't 
uh, splash water all over the place. I guess it's used to make the water go straight into the hose. So then also what I do is I just turn it, turn mine all the way to the side. And the reason I do this is because the water doesn't spray out, but sometimes when the washer is going, uh, it'll like drip a piece, like drip some water, like a small drip. But as you know, the drips can accumulate. So if it's dripping and it's sliding down the holes onto your floor, then those drips are going to turn into a lot of, you know, water on the floor. So I just turn it sideways so that when it does drip a little bit, it'll drip into the sink. And so that's how I set mine up. And so that's what it looks like from the sink down to the portable washer. Okay. And so then now... What I do is I take my oh, drain hose, which as I said before, is, um, sometimes has a, a extra excess water in it, which is okay. Uh, just make sure that you have the drain hose in the washer so that when the extra water comes out, it comes out into the washing machine. But yeah, so let's take the drain hose and we're going to connect it to the sink. And I just sit mine in the sink like this. I've never had any problems with this coming out of the sink when the water's coming out or anything like that. And then make sure you have one of these. Mine is a little dirty right now, but make sure you have one of these in your sink because um, when the water drains, sometimes the washing machine doesn't catch all the lint. So you don't want the lint to go down your drain and clog up your drain because then that will make your apartment complex have to pay like a hefty water bill. So make sure that you have one of these because these are really good at catching lint. Um, also, sometimes what I do is I take like a stocking and I tie it, uh, um, tie it with a rubber band around the hose. That has worked really good as well. I just need to go to the store and buy more stockings. But yeah, so I'm gonna just throw this in the trash really quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I can put that back in the sink and then that's how I have that set up. So I have my hose set up right here. I have the drain hose set up right there and it's all leading over here into the washer. So just a little bit of details about the washer. In the washer it has this right here which is uh, for powder detergent. All you basically do is pour the powder detergent in here. This is not for liquid detergent at all. They say in the manual do not use it for liquid detergent. So um, I use powder detergent and I just pour it in here. My sister-in-law, she uses liquid detergent and she just pours it directly into the washer. Um, inside the washer, it also has this, um, this lint catcher. It catches all the lint and as you can see, I need to change my lint. So let's change this lint really quickly. So you just slide it down, pull it out, take off the lint, ew, and push this out and take out the lint. And I usually change this after every wash. I don't know why I didn't change it after every wash, but usually I do. But you just clean it off super easy it's not super hard to do yeah all right and then you just now you have it outward now you're just going to push it back in just push it back in this is how much lint just came out of it I'll throw that in the trash and then you're going to take it and you're going to put it back so this is how it's supposed to be these two are supposed to be towards the top you lay it in there you push it up and you want to hear this little right here where this little piece is you want to hear it make that click and then you're good to go put it back in the washer just like that all right so on the washer there are many different settings which is something that i really love about this washer is how it has all these different settings after doing a lot of my research i've seen that a lot of them didn't have a lot of settings on them um when you're washing but this one does so you're able to do all of these so here are the procedures you can soak wash rinse and spin um 
and you just use this so let's first turn it on you just press the on button okay and when you press the on button it's automatically set to just wash rinse and spin so you can click procedure and it'll make it to where it's just spin you can make it to where it's just wash you can make it to where it's wash and rinse and you can make it to where it's rinse and spin um, and then when you press it again it'll do soak wash and rinse and spin I usually have mine set to wash rinse and spin over here in delay you can delay it for a certain amount of time so to use this function since it's connected to the sink you would have to keep the water on I haven't experienced high water bills or anything like that using this washer but um, to use delay you would have to keep the water on and basically you could just delay it for however many hours uh, or minutes uh, that you want it so like say for example if you go to bed at night but you don't want it to go off for a certain amount of hours until you like until it's close to you wake up then you set it for a delay for you know one hour two hours whatever I never use that option so um, I never have used that option and then here is the load size you can switch it between small medium and large and then here is the temperature you can use hot warm or cold I always usually use cold unless it's white clothes and I'll use hot then here is where you can pick the size of your load so if you see a light like this then that means it's either on normal heavy or delicate but if it starts to flash then that means it's on quick bulky and spin only I normally use um, heavy a heavy load I normally do a heavy load just because I always keep it on heavy and then I also always do an extra rinse I noticed that an extra rinse is always necessary because sometimes when I do rent uh, wash rinse and spin I feel like there's still residue on the clothes so I always do an extra rinse and when I now when I do the clothes it doesn't always feel like that extra residue is on there so after you have your settings all set up you're going to just turn on your water and then you can press start so let me get everything put into the washer that I wanted to use as I said I'm going to be putting in here a full size um, or I'm sorry a queen size quilt and it fits in here perfectly and then like I said I use powder soap I use uh, I use powder soap I use OxyClean and then I also use my scent beads and so I'm going to put all of that stuff in here and I'm also going to put the uh, the quilt in here as well and I'll show you guys everything Okay guys, so not only do I have a queen size quilt in here, this is the quilt. I have the queen size quilt in there, but I also have a towel. And so as you can see, even with the queen size quilt in here, um, it's a lot of space. So it's a real lot of space. I think that it can even fit um, a king size quilt. Um, <clears throat> and even like a twin size comforter would fit well up in here. Um, I've washed my kids, uh, they both have twin twin size quilts and I've washed both quilts in here at one time and it works perfectly so um, yeah now also we have the powder detergent in here uh, I poured the oxyclean in here and I also poured the powder detergent in here and now I'm going to close it so in order for you to start it you cannot start it while the lid is open and you also should not open the lid while um you should not open the lid while you're um you know while it's washing otherwise you'll get an error message and i don't know how many times you'll do that before you'll mess up your washer so just make sure that if you're going to stop it for some reason to do something pause it and then open the lid so now i'm going to turn on my water i turned on the water as you can see there is nothing dripping after I turn on the water. Uh, here's a little drop that I was talking about. 
so it'll drip like this and sometimes it'll go down the hose and if your hose is not like if your sink faucet is not turned to the side it'll drip down the hose onto the floor so just make sure you turn turn it and so that little drip doesn't become a puddle on your floor and then when we come back over here now since we have all our settings done we can press start and as you can see there it goes starting the water will start to fill up and it only takes probably like five minutes to fill the washer uh, up with the water and do everything it does so i'll come back on here and show you every single step that it does so once the water starts filling up uh, finishes filling up then it'll start to spin it and it'll start to wash it so it'll make this sound and it'll switch it back to back and forth and everything is going well with the washer so i'll show you the next step when that comes all right guys so basically right now what the washer is doing is it's filling up again uh, it just drained the water so it just rinsed and then now it's filling up with water again to rinse again and it's going to drain again and once it drains it's going to spin uh, the clothes dry and then you can put them in the dryer so that's pretty much all this washer does it works amazing and it actually fits a lot so don't let people tell you that it can't fit a queen size quilt because as you can see I put a queen size quilt and I also put a towel in there I always wash uh, both of my kids twin quilts together I'm sure it could fit a twin size comforter comfortably and even the dryer can dry it comfortably as well so I just wanted to give you a more in-depth look at this uh, portable washer um, I did want to show you a little bit of the back as much as I can of the back without moving it uh, one second so these are the washer hose this is the hot water hose and this is the cold water hose but that's pretty much everything right now on the washer it still has 29 minutes it's doing a rinse after it rinses it's going to spin dry and then it's going to beep when it's done and you can just put it in the dryer so I hope this video uh, was very informative and I hope it helps you decide what washer you're gonna go with. This one is awesome, I haven't had any problems. I changed the drain hose, I bought longer hose, and all of those I will have linked up in my description. So I hope this video helped you guys. Stay blessed, stay humble, stay doing the will of God. Peace.